I'm Dr. Regna Agarwal, Assistant Professor, Dindyal Upadhyay College, University of Delhi. Welcome to the session on Financial Management, Unit 4, Part 1. Finance is defined as the provision of money at the time when it is required. The role of finance in business enterprises in general and in event management company in particular needs no emphasis. Every enterprise, whether it is big or small, needs finance to carry on and expand its operations. Finance holds the key to the various important functions of a company. Specifically, we talk here about the event management company like finance, uh, servicing, marketing, and human resource management that are inseparable and interweaved. Amongst all these functions, uh, the decisions related to finances are very crucial. And it is advisable that the entrepreneur must have the basic understanding of accounts and finances. Financial management is not only about raising finance for running a business, but also managing it properly. All the business activities and a firm's success and in fact its survival is dependent upon how efficiently it is able to acquire and utilize the funds. The previous unit on managing an event management company gave you an overview of the life cycle of an enterprise marketing, human resource management, total quality management, and business ethics of an event management company. This unit will cover the basics of financial management of an organization. At the end of this uh, section of financial management of the unit, you should be able to understand the importance of financial management and its functions. You should be able to differentiate between long-term, medium-term, and short-term sources of finance. You should be able to understand the various sources of finance for an event management company. Financial management children is a managerial activity concerning the finances of a firm. It involves planning, organizing, directing, and controlling the financial activities such as procurement and utilization of funds of an enterprise. Event managers commonly use the following financial terms. Expenses. These are everyday running costs of a business and its events. It is the cost of operating that a company incurs to generate revenue. Common expenses include payments to suppliers, employee wages, factory leases, and equipment depreciation. Revenue. It is the income that a business has from its normal business activities, usually from the sale of goods and services to customers. Revenue is also referred to as sales or turnover. Some companies receive revenue from interest, royalties or other fees. Profit is a measure of profitability, which is the owner's major interest in the income formation process of market production. Profit describes the financial benefit that is realized when revenue exceeds expenses in a business activity. Costs and taxes involved in sustaining the activity in question. Any profits that are earned funnel back to the business owners who choose to either pocket the cash or invest it back into the business. Profit is calculated as total revenue less total expenses. Profit may be either gross profit or net profit. 
Now, gross profit, which is sometimes referred to as gross margin, is the total sales of a company minus the total cost of goods sold. Gross profit margin is an important indicator of a company's profitability. It shows how well sales, come over, uh, sales are able to cover the direct costs related to the production of goods. Net profit. This, in simplistic terms, net profit is the money that is left over after paying all the expenses incurred in an event. It is the measurement of a company's profit once operating costs, taxes, interest and depreciation have all been subtracted from its total revenue. The term is often referred to as a company's bottom line and may also be described as net earnings or net income. The fixed expenses. The fixed expenses are those expenses that do not change with an increase or decrease in the amount of goods or services produced or sold. Such expenses are those that have to be paid by an event management company regardless of whether an event is organized or not. The variable expenses. They are directly proportional to the event revenue. A variable expense is a corporate expense that changes in proportion to the production output. Variable costs increase or decrease depending on a company's production volume. They rise as production increases and fall as production decreases. The examples of various variable costs include the cost of raw materials and packaging. Variable expenses increase or decrease with an increase or decrease income. Capital. Capital is children typically cash or liquid assets held or obtained for expenditures. In general, capital can be a measurement of wealth and also a resource that provides for increasing wealth through direct investment or capital project investments. Companies use this capital to invest in all kinds of things for the purpose of creating value for a firm. By investing through the use of capital, a business or individual directs their money towards investment that earn a higher return than the costs of capital. Overheads are business costs that are related to the day-to-day -day running of the business. Unlike operating expenses, overheads cannot be traced to a specific cost unit or business activity or service like organizing an event. For example, taxes or cost office rent, which is not directly related to the cost of organizing events. Before trying to raise finances, it is important to review one's business and determine the required funding, its purpose, and when it is required. A proposal with financial projections is also required. So in all, we can say that financial management is very crucial in decision making of an event management company. A finance manager must estimate the event company's capital requirements. It will depend on expected costs, profits, and future programs and policies of the company. Once estimated, the capital structure should be decided. This involves short-term and long-term debt equity analysis. Now, this will depend upon the proportion of equity capital possessed by a company and additional funds which have to be raised from outside. Another function of financial management is the choice of sources of funds. For additional funds to be procured, a company has various choices, such as 
issue of shares and debentures, loans to be taken from banks and financial institutions, or maybe public deposits to be drawn like in the form of bonds. A finance manager also has to allocate funds into profitable ventures so that there is safety in investment and regular returns are possible. This can be done in two ways. Dividend declaration, which includes identifying the rate of dividends and other benefits like bonus and uh, retained profits. The volume has to be decided, which will depend upon expansion, innovation, diversification plans of the company. And thus, the surplus can be distributed by the event manager. An event manager also needs to manage cash. Cash is required for various purposes like payment of wages and salaries, payment of electricity and water bills, payment to creditors meeting current liabilities, maintenance of enough stock, purchase of raw materials and so on and on and on. The finance manager also has to apply certain controls. The finance manager not only plans, procures and utilizes funds, but he also has to exercise control over the finances. This can be done using various techniques like ratio analysis, financial forecasting and profit control, etc. Business enterprises children require to funds to meet uh, different requirements. The source from which the finance will be raised depends upon the type of financial requirements of the business. All financial needs of a business can be grouped into three categories. The short-term financial requirements, the medium-term financial requirements, and the long-term financial requirements. The short-term financial needs arise for a short period of time. That is, money with repayment period is one year or less. It covers shortage in the working capital needs of the business. Such needs include a, a constant increase in the price of raw materials, increase in the operating expenses, etc. Such short-term financial requirements are met from short-term sources of finance, such as advances from banks, advances from clients, merchandising, sponsorship, advertising, etc. for a particular event. Medium-term financial requirements have a maturity period between one to five years. It is mainly used to finance equipment, business expansion, research and development, and development of new products, that is innovation in a way. Medium-term financial requirements should be met from medium-term sources of funds, such as medium-term loans from banks, public deposits, etc. And then we have the long-term financial requirements. The long-term financial requirements refer to uh, those with, for which the funds are required for a period exceeding five years. This type of finance is used to fund the purchase of assets such as business itself, land, buildings, uh, plant or machinery which will directly or indirectly contribute to profit over several years. Such requirements should be met from long-term sources of finance such as shares, debentures, loans from specialized financial institutions, etc. There should be a perfect matching of the period for which the funds are required and the period for which the funds are raised. It will uh, be against the principles of financial management if the funds raised from short-term sources are used for the purchase of fixed assets because it will decrease the liquidity of the business and will give rise to the problem of prompt payment. Similarly, if the funds raised from long-term sources 
are used for short term requirements the funds will be uh, will remain idle which will lead to the reduction in profitability another way in which the banks finance an event management company is through overdrafts an overdraft is an extension of credit from a lending institution that is granted when account reaches zero the overdraft allows the account holder to continue withdrawing money even when the account has no funds in it or has insufficient funds to cover the amount of withdrawal another method is the discounting of bills banks finance business concern by discounting their credit instruments like the bills of exchange promissory notes etc at a price lower than its face value mortgage is yet another way in which banks provide finance to the event management company a mortgage is a loan that is secured against a property that means if you suppose fail to fully repay a loan the lender can take that property and sell it in order to pay off the loan commercial bill is one more form in which the bank provides finance to the event management company and commercial bill is an arrangement where money is made available for a short period by banks and private agencies at the end of this period borrowed money has to be repaid another external source of finance is leasing leasing an asset provides similar benefits to purchase it is a contract outlining the terms under which the finance house that is the lesser agrees to rent his property to the entrepreneur who is known as the lessee for a fixed time period in exchange of regular payment often as the annual rent real distinction between lease and purchase is that lease does not have eventual ownership of the asset whereas the purchase has suppliers or trade credit is another short term financial source that is provided through external sources to the event management company as a business may give credit to its own customers the firm may be able to negotiate credit terms with its suppliers funds are not available in cash but it facilitates the purchase of supplies without immediate payment no interest is payable on trade credits in the event industry customers are asked to pay a part of the payment in advance often it is 50% of the total payment this is popular particularly popular in case of special order or big events so we can say that advances from clients also act as an external source of financing to an event management company for many events funds from sponsors would be a large percentage of funds this could be either from a principal single sponsor or from multiple sponsors with small stakes in the event sponsorship funds could be for specific activities within the event or for featuring the sponsor's branding in that in overall event the sponsoring company will usually have similar business interests as the event and my target the same target audience debtor finance is yet another external source of financing an event this is an arrangement where uh, the finance company provides cash in advance to the business against sales made that is the invoices borrowings from friends and relatives is an informal way of raising finance externally the sources of revenue at the time of the event is a short term finance which is raised externally by an event management company the source of revenue defines the type of event 
Say for example, for a company's product launch, the source of revenue is the client. But for a large event like trade fair or maybe a major festival like the Kumbh Mela, there can be a variety of revenue sources such as sponsors and participants. Therefore, revenue, so revenue sources could be uh, ticket sales, sponsorship, then merchandising, advertising, in-kind arrangements, that means arrangements that are made not in cash, broadcast rights, as in case of the sport events, grants, for example, from the government, fundraising, which is common in the community events, uh, then food and beverage sales, or maybe the client, who is the major revenue source for corporate events. Purpose. A loan request is refused if the purpose of the loan is not acceptable to the bank. Amount. The amount of the loan. The customer must state exactly how much he wants to borrow. The banker must verify as far as possible to do so, that the amount required to make the proposed investment has been estimated correctly. R, that is repayment. How will the loan be repaid? Is the proposal promising enough to generate sufficient income to make necessary repayments? T stands for term. What would be the duration of the loan? These may be short-term, medium-term, or long-term loans. And S stands for security. Does the loan require security, that is collaterals against the loan? If so, is the proposed security adequate? Summing up, children, finance is the lifeline of any business. However, finances, like most other resources, are always limited. On the other hand, wants are always unlimited. Therefore, it is important for a business to manage its finances efficiently. For any business, it is important that the finance it procures is invested in a manner that the returns from the investment are higher than the cost of finance. Thank you. Thank you.